it's Sarah and welcome to Aries January 2024 overview. Let's look at what's really happening for Aries Sun, Moon, and Rising. I'm going to post some important dates on the screen too that you might want to add to your calendar. We're going to do a brief overview and then cover career, wealth, love, health, and student outlook for the month and generally the best time to celebrate your partnership as well. Let's do this. The big news is of course the influence of Mars. Mars is your ruling planet and it's the planet of outward activity and animal passion. And as I said, it rules Aries and is exalted in Capricorn. Mars will ensure the beginning of the year is optimistic, full of freedom and adventure for you. So this motivation and energy boost will help you to work out your goals or move forward on setting them. But fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sag, should be cautious because we can become easily distracted and deviate from our plans this year. So it's important to set up these goals for 2024 and use them as a sort of road map. As we begin 2024, you may feel like, eh, new month, same old vibe, right? But give it time. Life is changing. And on January 1st, we say goodbye to Mercury retrograde. Hallelujah. And hopefully during that time, you were able to use the Mercury energy in December for inner reflection and make some decisions about what you want 2024 to look like. When Mercury retrogrades, it isn't a good time for making new decisions or new business plans, but it's ideal for reflecting on your current situation and looking at what's working and what isn't. So armed with these insights, you begin the month rearing to go. Mid-month, you'll notice a burst of new energy and you'll be ready to take on some big changes. As Mars takes over, you feel more powerful, more capable, and more comfortable. However, be mindful of impulsive tendencies. Harness the boundless energy at your disposal wisely, and then you'll find yourself on an amazing journey. Aries, you can get a lot accomplished this month, especially with a more focused and determined plan. That's kind of the over you. Now let's look at your finances, career, wealth, love, and all of the above. So starting with your career and wealth. As Mercury retrograde ends on the first, you start to get back on track. So this month, new unexpected opportunities can land on your doorstep. You have to remember though, not all of them may be for you. So it's going to take some discernment here. Your assertiveness and bold decision-making skills will be key factors in attracting this prosperity. On the one hand, Use discernment, but also trust your instincts. Don't forget, though, that that's why you need that plan in motion so that you can look at these opportunities and see if they are actually moving you closer towards your ideal goals or further away, especially having to do with career moves. Because January isn't the time to launch a new business. Instead, focus on ongoing side hustles or your ongoing business and what you can do to make them more profitable and still have free time. For all Aries natives, it's really important to make sure that you stay balanced this year. Collaborations and partnerships will play a significant role in your financial success this month, even if you aren't feeling it now. And this could be because salaried Aries don't trust their coworkers, and you may feel you have to have your guard up at work and that, you know, you don't want to be there, much less want to work with these people. And don't forget, there was all that gossip and backstabbing last year, and it's really hard for you to overlook that and forget it. The good news is that a lot of the troublemakers have changed jobs or will be leaving soon. Proceed with caution of course, but don't let those idiots stop you from assuming a leadership role at work. To live up to your full potential, Aries, you're going to have to put yourself out there. And if you don't think you can do it at this particular place of business, then you may have to look for another job. But I think you can where you're at now. I think you can actually move forward because like I say, a lot of the troublemakers are on their way out if they haven't moved already. In the past, you felt like no one could keep up with you too. So that's that's been part of this as well. But for your project, to succeed this month, you're going to need to work together with an organized team. Aries are action-oriented people who do well in jobs where they can use their leadership skills. So to move your career forward, you'll have to learn to work with others. Also, if you can put the past behind you for the good of the business, you can contribute to the team and turn in stellar work right now. Now, this will also help your colleagues, and you will in turn receive more of the credit you deserve. Your colleagues will end up looking better, and with these new people, 
people, less the troublemakers and instigators, then work will get back into the normal balance. Be open to teamwork and shared endeavors this month, even though you may not be feeling it as the month begins. For self-employed and gig workers, not attracting the deals or collaborations you want? Yeah, over the past 30 days with Mercury retrograde, it, it was difficult. It was really difficult to get out there and pitch your stuff or to have people actually understand what you were doing. Part of that was the holiday season, the pressure at the end of the year, and, and Mercury. But that's going to change this month. So if you've struggled to attract the deals or offers that you need, this could be because you might also, on top of all those other reasons, look unapproachable or even come off selfish in some of your recent jobs. Now, this isn't true. You were just involved in giving your all to the project, but there were some misunderstandings. So Aries is very thorough and can be a perfectionist when it comes to work. You want to give your best. You want to give your all. And sometimes it comes off a little weird. So just keep that in mind. So projects may be slow for the first half of the month, but that's okay. Take this downtime to rest and to think about what you want to manifest, what you want to create. And by the time of the new moon, things will start shifting. If you're still struggling to create that roadmap of goals, this is a good time to do that as well. Make the most of this disciplined energy after the 11th and work on your plans in a realistic way. And on the 15th, you get a big boost to creativity and you can focus on creative projects and ventures then wholeheartedly. So this is the time to brainstorm new ideas before then and then take them forward after the 15th. On the 20th or so, it's a great time to reach out, offer your services, send resumes, send portfolios out, and chances are good you're going to be very busy in February. So take full advantage of this downtime. On the 20th, the sun enters Aquarius, and Aquarius season is the time to embrace what makes you different, what makes you quirky, what sets you apart from the competition. Aquarius wants to be independent, and this energy will want you to continue marching to your own beat. Make changes that focus on the future before the 20th, because you're going to be inspired by that energy to probably go further out of your comfort zone than maybe you need to in 2024. All Aries natives want to succeed this month and you're more aware of material comforts and the practical side of life with Mars and Capricorn from January the 4th to the to February the 13th. So you're going to be looking at the bottom line a lot closer in business dealings. For job seekers, hidden talents will emerge to help your personal growth and professional advancement. So the full moon in Leo, especially at the end of the month, is a great time to promote yourself and send out resumes, go knock on doors, call friends and ask them if they know someone is hiring. And you may be offered a job that that is out of your normal realm, but that's okay because like I say, you have these talents that will make you great for the job. So just hang in there and keep sending the resumes out and don't give up. So looking at your love forecast, with the exception of the first couple of days in January, relationships, love, and dating, romance aren't really a big focus for you this month. Instead, Aries is more focused on career success and finances. Use the time before Venus transits into Capricorn to really focus on your relationships. While Venus is in Sagittarius, you may meet someone new at a class or an educational event. While the relationship will take off, you still value your freedom. Freedom, so you will resist the urge to move too fast or give this person all your free time. They will have to prove themselves to you. And lessons from relationships in the past can be triggered now, but is it fair to compare this new person with your ex? No, of course not. Make sure you don't punish them for any similarities. If you're in a relationship, spend more time talking about the future with your partner. Make sure you're on the same page regarding the future, where you want to be, where you want to live, what kind of life you want to create. Open and honest communication will deepen the emotional connection now. And now that we're out of Mercury, the little petty squabbles are over. When the moon enters Leo on the 25th, you're more affectionate and feel more at ease. This is a good time to take your partner out as your relationship will feel much more stable. All relationships will be harmonious at this time around the full moon. If you're not dating someone but you're looking, fear not because there is someone seeking you even now. So very soon romance will come back into your life. And health. This month we don't see you focus too much on exercise or health. You've got other priorities on your mind and you're just not feeling it. But don't neglect your health, Aries. So why not try something new like taking a new workout class or even a yoga class at your gym? Being with people will inspire you to keep going and push through any workout plateaus and boost your energy. And who knows who you will meet there. Elder Aries should not delay checkups or regular health appointments in January. There was probably some missed appointments or problem scheduling in December because of Mercury retrograde. Just get back on track in January. 
Students, use the early part of the month to set up study routines and be more realistic and honest with yourself about the load that you're carrying. You may be nervous, indecisive, and easily distracted as the month starts, and you may have trouble expressing yourself clearly. There could be misunderstandings, so the best option may be to listen more than you talk. Don't let others pressure you or rush you into making important decisions. Seek trusted advice or get a second opinion before you make any major changes as well. On the 13th, Mercury enters Capricorn, and this will help you with a more disciplined energy, and you can work on your long-term plans or goals now. After the 24th, you're distracted again and not as focused. So complete any and all important projects, set exams, etc. before the 24th, or push them out if possible for the best result. Overall, it's a month of opportunities and unexpected encounters for Aries, and it's going to be kind of up and down. There's going to be times when you're really focused and you're really moving forward, getting closer to achieving your goals, and other times when you could care less and you're just kind of walking around in in a a dreamy state. So yeah, it's going to be an interesting month. But if you set the goals this month and kind of create a roadmap for 2024, you'll have won the month because that's the biggest thing you can do to harness this energy and make your life easier for 2024. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, let me know in the comment section below. And as always, thank you so much for subscribing, liking the videos, and sharing them. I really appreciate it. If you would like to see more videos or see them faster, then why not consider becoming a part of the community here or on Patreon. Each has their own specific perks, but all of them get exclusive videos and first looks. Stay tuned for the next video. Reiki blessings!